go guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to talk about my first impressions with the Logitech MX Master Keys Mac Edition. Let's get into it. Weight. It comes in at around 2.55 pounds, so yeah. So it's on the heavier side of keyboards and coming from my previous keyboard the Apple magic keyboard Which is about like 0.5 pounds. I don't know. It's it's super light. Yeah, I was I was surprised to see how heavy it is, but it's also Super well made speaking of it being super well made. Let's talk about the build quality The build quality is superb honestly and especially for the price that comes around in it's one it's on the move premium end of keyboards it's around the same price as the apple magic keyboard as well coming in at 99 dollars but you also get the exact same features with the mac os system and plus and also more features such as backlighting which we'll get into in a bit also you get a number pad which yes number pads best things ever <laughs> let's talk about the size it's a full-size keyboard So since it's a full size keyboard, I've ke I keep messing up my keystrokes. Compared, it's it's a little bit, little bit larger of key of keystrokes for me. Coming once again, coming from the Apple Magic Keyboard, where it's like almost you know no space in between the keys. So every time I'm typing, and I, let's say I type an M, I accidentally put that little logo instead of the M on accident, or you know just little things, honestly. But I've gotten used to it, so yeah. And Back to the number pad, let's talk about the number pad. I've missed the number pad on the Apple Magic Keyboard. I used to have a full size one that was like USB, but I wanted Bluetooth, so then I switched over to the Apple Magic Keyboard, which I absolutely love, but I have missed the number pad, and I love the number pad. You can't tell me otherwise, the number pad is the best thing on a keyboard. The keys, the keys have indents in them which is it's such a nice feel while typing um you can actually feel when your fingers are on the keys and be like okay i'm on this key and then if you're on a specialty key like the spacebar or even the function keys on top you can tell because those function keys on top don't have the indents and then when you switch back to the keys themselves you can tell that you're typing on the keys because they have the indents the top function keys are all customizable for certain programs or just to have its own dedicated function which is cool I haven't messed around with them too much because I like the default set the default settings to be honest they already have an icon for what that function does already and I personally don't feel like mm, switching things around and doing all that I'm, I'm fine with the default settings of those two words backlight I wanted Apple to implement backlighting on a keyboard for the longest time and they haven't yet because it's Apple the backlighting on this keyboard is amazing and it's cool because when you hit the backlighting button a little icon pops up on the screen of the Mac like it would usually do if it was an actual Apple function which is awesome to see that third party companies like this implement the small details like those and even same with the caps lock button there's a little A icon that shows up to let you know that caps lock is on sometimes I'd be typing and then I accidentally turn caps lock on and next thing you know have my sentence is on caps so yeah it's nice to have a little icon show up so you can just fix it immediately integrated keys and shortcuts now like I've already said I've, it has like its own function keys and shortcuts this screenshot this the calculator button I don't even know what F18 does yet and then there's a lock button don't know haven't really tested it yet it still has the Apple functions which is awesome like brightness um, sound play pause rewind everything that you see on the Apple keyboard it's there so you're not missing any features if you are switching to another keep if you are switching to this keyboard which is pretty cool to have and once again pretty cool for a third-party company to think of things like that it's the little things I'm telling you it's the little things but yeah that's all I have for you today like I said it's my first impressions I got a full review coming out soon super excited to get that out to you guys and if you guys have any further questions, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. I'll answer any questions you have. Or if you want to, you can leave them down in the comments. And 
Yeah. That's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you guys later. Peace.